Hey, where my people? Good morning, good afternoon, depend on the time or not they see this video. My people, finally, oh, the matter when it they grant concerning Apostle Analima. Apostle wife don't come out, come choke mouth pull for this matter. Oh. Say, interest the husband, say, not be the husband, be the person when be say, they just depend around. Say, the pictures when Anima they carry worker for social media, say, all those pictures and photo shoots, my people, mm. not be my mouth to go for here and because if I say make I day here they analyze the matter for una. This video go too long. I beg make we watch the video together. May we listen to what she get to talk. I beg not forget to share this video so that everybody go know say she don't come out come chuck mad for this matter. And not forget to drop your own opinion. For this comment session, because she talk about to that extent, say, man, what you deal with for many years, eh? If that man be say they do woman matter, you won't be the wife. You must not say the woman they do woman matter. I bet more watch this video. See you all on our next one. Bye, guys. Now, ordinarily, I don't like media appearances, but at this point, for the purpose of clarity, I will have to speak. Now, I have known my husband for the past 19 years. And if you are living with a man who is promiscuous or an adulterous person, you will know, especially if you are an intelligent and a smart woman. I have to speak because I wanted to now appear like it's a woman-to-woman -woman talk. I have heard all kinds of rubbish and the nonsense this lady has been talking about that has gone viral on the internet. That is not my husband. And let me quickly say this. For 19 years, I have been with my husband, even all through the years of courtship and in marriage. I have never for once had any problem whatsoever over a woman. We have never had issues over a woman. And then you can just imagine. And listen, for all the pictures that have been released, you can as well decide to send more pictures. Mind you, it will never and can never stop the real picture of my husband in my heart. Of course, you can see that the pictures released are photoshopped. By the grace of God, I'm a trained journalist, a mass communicator. And anybody who is good at graphics and is into photography should understand what I'm talking about. These pictures are fake. They are fake pictures. And so now, I want the, the issue, the problem with most Nigerians is that they are so gullible. They believe everything. They want to listen to everything i'm coming up to i'm coming out to say this just because of those that feel or think oh we are confused we don't know what that is not my husband please if you are very good at photography like i said take a closer look at the photos they are we are all planned out and they are all fake now i also discover as a matter of fact i've been the one checking out and following up everything that has been happening. As I speak to you right now, my husband is having a minister's conference. This is a man who fears God, a man who loves God, a man who is going after his father's business, the business of the things of the kingdom. He's always in the mission feed. And then a lady will just come out and start saying all kinds of nonsense. And people who are so gullible will want to believe this. For 19 years, like I said, not for one day, if you are an intelligent woman, if you are a smart woman, there is no way a man will be living that kind of life or probably maybe that is his lifestyle. There is no way a woman will not be able to detect that. There is no way a woman will not be able to find out that this is the kind of life the husband is living. That's not my husband. Now listen, you, you, you people can send the kind of pictures, you can release even more pictures if you want to. But that will never change anything. It will never change my stand. It will never change the law that I have for my husband. He's a good man. The problem is that people just want to take advantage of his good 
attitude. He loves to give and he will never stop giving. He wants to make people happy. And my husband is somebody that will not see anybody cry out for any reason. He wants to help. And this, especially if the person is even a total stranger. And I also encourage him to give. He will never, listen, your good will never kill you. He will not stop giving. He will continue to give. So the fact that he has assisted one person and then the person will come out to say, this is just cheap blackmail. 